Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. This is my first video back since being away for the summer, so I essentially took August off social media. I did post quite a bit over on my Instagram, but on YouTube and my blog, for example, I really just took a break and took some time out to spend it with family and friends on holiday in Portugal, as I very luckily do every summer. So I'm now back. I'm back in London and experiencing the late summer September heat wave that we are experiencing here in London right now. I mean, I think today the weather is like 30 degrees, so it's a little bit early for autumn fashion and autumn styling. I wanted to share some transitional outfit ideas, basically outfits that I will be wearing through late summer to early autumn. If you are new to my channel, then hello, my name is Patricia and I upload lots of fashion and styling content here on my YouTube channel, including outfits ideas, ways to wear, how to style videos, and other bits of life in London, and some beauty content as well. So if you like that sort of thing, and if you want to see more from me, then please do subscribe to my channel. On to my transitional outfits now, starting off with a very light outfit. That makes any remaining tan you may have from the summer continue to pop for a little while longer. So for this outfit, I'm wearing a white linen shirt. I do love white shirts all year round, to be honest with you. I just think they are such a good wardrobe staple. A linen shirt is a great alternative for the summer months, as it's typically lighter and a little airier. So I decided to pair this with a black vest top underneath. Now this is a little bit unusual for me because I wouldn't typically style a shirt in this way. However, with this being a late transitional outfit idea, I thought that it's good to have the shirt as a light layering piece. So if it gets particularly warm, you can of course remove the shirt and you've got a cute top and skirt combo. But if it does get a little bit cooler or potentially in an evening, for example, adding the shirt gives this look a little more edge in my opinion and also smartens it up a little bit for the city as well. I then paired the look with a long line satin slip skirt loving slip style skirts and dresses this summer. So this is a nice way to be able to continue wearing those as we transition into autumnal weather as well. I decided to keep my accessories kind of summery. So my shoes are a pair of white strappy sandals. These are just a go-to for me. I've had them in my collection for years now. And honestly, I gravitate towards them every summer, particularly late summer. I think they're such a nice shoe to have in your shoe wardrobe. And then for my bag, I would typically go for basket bags in the summer. However, as we're leaning more towards autumnal fashion with these outfits, I've really ditched the basket bags and instead gone for more structured bags. So here I have a white structured kind of small bag, which I think again makes this look a bit more dressed up for the city and a bit more autumn appropriate. What you'll find with most of the outfits in this video is that if you swap the accessories, they would very easily become outfits for summertime and I think that's what I try to do with these outfits. I try to make them summer outfit ideas but with autumn accessories kind of. So for example with the outfit that I just showed you if I were wearing flip-flops for example and a basket bag that would instantly be an outfit perfect for holiday but because I've switched up those accessories with strappy heeled sandals and a more structured little white bag it's a bit more appropriate for autumn and city life and city city living basically. Outfit number two is definitely my kind of vibe in the city. I like a laid back relaxed look when in London and this is the kind of outfit that I have been wearing a lot throughout the heat wave. This waistcoat in particular, oh my gosh, I am just loving denim. I really, really am. I mean, I'm wearing a denim dress right now. I've just got a thing for denim. So this is a denim waistcoat, which I absolutely adore so much more than I thought I would honestly. I just think it's such an interesting piece, but still really wearable. I think denim and blue is so wearable. So loving this waistcoat, I've been wearing it so much and I think it's a great alternative option for late summer. So a transitional kind of outfit as we're going into autumnal weather. I decided to pair the denim waistcoat with a pair of 
wide leg flowy plissé black trousers. These trousers make up for a big part of my spring and summer wardrobe. So as we're going into autumn, I feel like I can still wear them because obviously they're black and they're a trouser. So they are a great option for autumn styling as well whilst the weather is still mild. And as we're doing heat wave weather right now, I have gone for flip flops here, which honestly for me is a little unusual. I don't wear flip flops a lot in the city, but with this outfit, I think they really work. I think if I were wearing like a trainer, for example, or even a loafer, it would just be a bit more autumnal. So the flip flops definitely bring back that kind of summery vibe. I have on a black crossbody bag, which again is just a go-to for me. This is essentially a very laid back, casual outfit idea for the city. A great weekend outfit in my opinion, or one if you're running errands, for example. It's just my kind of look. I'd say this next outfit is probably the most autumnal looking out of the bunch and I think it's down to the color palette that I have chosen for this outfit. So outfit number three I'm wearing a dress. I love dresses in the summer. I feel like my whole summer wardrobe consists of summer dresses. I just think they're so easy to style, so easy to just throw on and go which is the kind of outfit I like in the summer months. So here I'm wearing a khaki midi or slash maxi kind of midaxi I suppose a somewhere in the middle dress which I love. It's got a higher neckline which I think is a nod to autumnal fashion and I just really love the khaki colour as a colour for autumn and then it's all about the accessories making this whole look even more autumnal. I've gone for a pair of brown and boots. I love how the boots look because there's no skin on show between the end of the dress and the start of the boots kind of. So you know how sometimes you can have a bit of leg on show where the dress is a bit shorter but because this is quite a long midi dress which is what is very popular at the moment I think it looks really nice with a pair of ankle boots like this. And in keeping with the autumnal colour palette of this outfit I've gone for a brown bag. This is a half moon style bag which is honestly one of my favourite. I think you will be seeing me wearing this a lot throughout autumn. I wore it loads in the summer as well. I just really love this bag. I love the style of it. I think it's really unusual but still very wearable. So this whole outfit just screams autumn in my opinion. As it starts to get a bit colder, I would equally wear this but layered with a jacket over the top, for example. I think a trench coat could look really good with an outfit like this or toughened up a bit more with a biker jacket, for example. Very easy to tweak these outfits to suit different seasons. It really doesn't feel like me if I don't share an all black outfit. It's a go-to for me. I would say it's like a comfort blanket. Going for an all black outfit, I know I'm gonna feel comfortable. I know I'm going to feel confident. So with this outfit, I'm wearing a black bodysuit, kind of just one as a top, I guess. And then I'm wearing a ruffle style mini skirt. It's actually a skirt, so it does have shorts underneath, which I really like, particularly for a skirt like this one. I love a mini skirt with a pair of knee-high boots. Knee-high boots are another autumn staple for me and I cannot wait to wear and style my autumn boots throughout the upcoming season. I just adore them and any excuse to wear them. So here I'm wearing my black croc print pair. I've had these for years in my collection and I still love them just as much as when I first got them. They really are a staple within my wardrobe. As this is an all black outfit, I did want to incorporate a little bit of colour, albeit in quite a subtle way. So I'm wearing a a bag here that actually has a really cute floral design detail and with those florals comes the introduction of some colour. Now I know it's not you know a neon colour or a bold colour that I'm adding to this outfit but it's a little bit of colour nonetheless and done in a very summery way in my opinion with the addition of some flowers. I think it just works really nicely with this kind of outfit. It's definitely in keeping with the flirty and fun summery vibes of the look albeit an all black outfit and and then as we are talking transitional fashion, moving from the summer months into the autumn months, I have just gone for a black jumper thrown over the shoulders. I've said it before and I'll say it again, a jumper flung over the shoulders is just my all time favourite fashion girl look. I just think it looks so cool, it's effortless and I just love the whole vibe. With an outfit like this, it's obviously a great one because it means you have an additional layering piece. Lastly, we have the most 
casual outfit. Again, one that I think is quite true to my style, my everyday style at least. So outfit number five, I'm wearing denim. Oh my gosh, the return of denim. I'm so excited for denim season. I love wearing denim. I've said this already, but in particular jeans. I just love my jeans. I'm a girl who loves her denim. So here I'm wearing the Levi ribcage jeans. These are my current favorite jeans. I have loved them throughout the summer as well and throughout autumn. I'm sure I will be wearing them a lot. So I've paired these with a cream colored cardigan loosely tucked in around the front so that you can see my belt peeking through. It's a black belt with gold buckle detailing which I love. I love when the hardware matches my jewelry and I'm a gold jewelry lover so I love it when for instance my belt has gold hardware because it all matches and I really like that. Then for footwear I've gone for a pair of ballet flats. Ballet flats are going to be huge throughout autumn and I just love them. It's a trend that I can really get on board with. I think they're so easy to style, so easy to wear, so versatile and most importantly so comfortable. So absolutely loving the return of these for autumn this year. And then for my bag I kept it simple with a little black shoulder bag. The reason I went for a black shoulder bag as opposed to something lighter is because I thought the black then matched all all my other accessories so my belt and then my shoes as well because they do have a nude and black two-tone color combo so everything matches really nicely those were five transitional outfits for summer through till autumn I really hope you enjoyed the video in a couple of weeks time I will have an autumn outfits video for you but I'm just gonna let the weather cool down a little bit so that the outfits feel a bit more in keeping with the current season until then I I hope these outfits serve as inspiration and please leave me a comment letting me know which outfit out of these five was your favorite. A big thank you for watching today's video. I am so happy to be back on YouTube with regular weekly uploads so don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more outfit ideas for autumn. A very big thank you for watching like I said and I will see you all next week in my new video. Bye!